Yeah, so let's move on then to the, the fourth and uh, maybe final uh, adversarial threat model here, where the adversary is not part of the world. So he does have payment channels. It's not just a passive adversary who just listens, um, but he does have payment channels. However, they are not part of the route. That's actually something that I didn't really consider much before. So I'm curious what your thoughts are on this. Yeah, so uh, just as a reminder, this privacy guarantee is called uh, off-path payment privacy. So even if you are not part of the payment privacy, then we want the... Uh, details of this payment to be hidden from any non-participant uh, router nodes. And um, so this is somewhat feels uh, too unrealistic or too strong uh, adversary. But the idea here is that the attacker creates network snapshots, uh, meaning that let's forget about how the adversary does this, but let's let's assume that the adversary knows that, knows that uh, at certain time tau or at certain time t, the adversary knows all the individual balances and knows every information of the uh, network. Maybe he was probing the channels or whatever. And then some time occurs and now we have another snapshot uh, at a time point t plus tau. I, I don't know, after 10 minutes or 5 minutes or 1 hour. And now, obviously, you will see different individual balances of, of the network. And now, given the two differences between these snapshots, uh, can you infer individual payment and, and in individual payment amounts? And uh, again, there's this uh, paper uh, by George Kapos et al. where, where they argue that um, with some simulations that, yeah, it's pretty easy that if you have multiple snapshots of the network with individual balances, or even if you just know a certain part of the network with individual balances, and you see the snapshots, then it's pretty easy and straightforward to to f figure out w where and where payments occurred with what amount. Um, yeah. Okay, so is some, with this a threat model, somehow you need to figure out the actual balance of some channels, right? Maybe not all, but a certain amount of it at least. Um, and then if you get this type of information, the exact channel balances at different points in time, then you can see the at least net difference between these points in time and that indicate general flows, right? And I would assume that the longer this time period in between the two snapshots, the more vague this analysis is, right? Um, so if it, if you take like a snapshot every week, well, then you see this, the, the total difference of plus minus a week, right? But, uh, if you take the snapshot once every 30 minutes, right, then you get much more granular information of when a payment happened, uh, and you will catch not just the aggregate of it, but many more of the individual payments themselves. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 